fake oh building. My God, man. Until Nick told me, I had no clue. But they look like fake windows. So that's gonna be the end result, I guess. We're gonna explore Riga a bit today. Um, it's less cold. I'm not sure if it is raining or snowing. Yeah. It's just snowing. So we're walking down just to try to find some cool sites to do some Instagram photos, but also take some video as well for kind of uh, things to do here in Riga. So we're um, probably only about five minutes to walk away from the first one, which I think is like a cathedral looking thing. So we're gonna try to discover where it is exactly. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So it's not a touch screen, so you gotta click on the side, English, uh, card, re buy a ticket. Here we go. All transport types, just in case we wanna take anything. Do you wanna do four trips? Yeah. Four trips. Action approved, do you want a receipt? Yes. Oh, we've got the card, four trips on this one. I've tried the pancakes yesterday in Lido. Latvian pancakes, Latvian potato pancakes, they're so yummy. You must try it. And in uh, Rimi, actually, you can get them with about 90 cents. It's very cheap. So if you can't afford to buy any potato pancakes in Riga, you can try them in a supermarket. It's so good. Recommended. We are here in a shopping center to go to bathrooms. They are very antique. Like it's a complete private room with a wooden door. Um, for the girls' toilet, there is like a, a makeup table that looks very vintage. Speaking of a uh, fancy wooden furniture here, they do like wooden style. Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, they definitely like do. Floors. But like wood with um, gold kind of brass uh, finishings, yeah. Yeah, when we went to the doctor yesterday, the place was all covered with wood as well. Mm, that's true, yeah, it's very wooden. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Can you notice, guys? What is odd about this building? It's not real, it's fake. It's a I fake building. <laughs> Until Nick told me, I had no clue, but they look like... Windows, so that's gonna be the end result I guess. So that's a really clever way of covering up construction is while it's being made just put up a fake sheet. You, Why is it always know, a normal sheet? You know what's gonna happen to the building? You do? You no, know the consequence. Yeah, that's pretty clever actually. It's a good way of covering up unsightly construction. Just cover it up with fake windows. Brilliant. I'm filming. No, that's I got mean. the Rachel Rampage. No, that's me. Mm. Um, so what are we about to do now, Rachie? Let us know. Okay, so we're gonna film that building. Golden brown. Very Golden brown. Texture like sun. Amazing. It really reminds me of the pictures that you see of like St. Petersburg and more kind of Russian architecture. So I'm not sure what exactly that is, but it's beautiful. So when I went to have a look um, when you go inside this building, it looks like they had quite a bit of restrictions. So you couldn't wear shorts, you had to have a head covering, no photos, no pets obviously. Next one. The next one is so close guys, you can see it from the other building. It's called the Freedom Monument. So it's pretty cool, it's striking. It's literally in the center of town between Old Town and the other town. And it's really, I like it because it's really straight. The funny thing um, that you find when you're traveling in different cities is that every city has its unique little features and we just stopped by to this beautiful building and it's known as the Cat House and it's because it's got two little statues of cats right at the top perched 
just above and it's just really cute and interesting I think the architecture here in Riga is pretty unique so I think it's a really good idea just to wander around cities check out the architecture but really look closely at all the intricacies on the buildings because they can be quite unique and quite cool you look at this building but then you look a bit closer up and you suddenly see these like haunting faces on there like popping out of the building it's very Ghostbusters <laughs> just behind us is like the first tour group I've seen so far in Riga because we haven't seen many tourists here but yeah for the first time we've seen a tourist group which is pretty interesting but I guess it's getting pretty chilly here so less tourists So tempted to buy some of these Christmas jumpers and because it's so cold too I wouldn't mind having one for that purpose as well Are you gonna buy one of them? Those beanie Lapian hats Yeah with the pom-pom Pom-pom? Yeah pom-pom No I mean the, the Lapian hat Oh yeah look they've got double Yeah the double seems to come on uh, It's cute <laughs> It's like a cat Oh. It's really like a cat, it's very cute. What about the hats, you know, the... Oh, these ones? Yeah, those ones. Uh, do you know what? what? It looks pretty practical. It, it actually looks practical. I'm actually starting to understand that style now. Lafia is gorgeous. Riga is gorgeous. So pretty. Oh. So beautiful here in Riga, we're just looking for a cheap beach too while we're here. I think Riga is like a fairy tale town. Um, it's really beautiful like that. It's like really kind of um, whimsical. It's whimsical, it's cute, but then on the other hand there is like a dark fairy tale buildings too really like worn down uh, buildings but you know maybe for Latvians they might be just ugly and old but for me it's still quite interesting you know you kind of see history from those old buildings too so uh, I wouldn't mind that but it's like uh, yeah Latvia is like a fairy tale of the city We're gonna get into this restaurant called Pelmeni Axel. They seem to have a really good chip in it. Let's see what they've got. I'm feeling a cup of soup. I hope they have one. Let's get it. Okay, so I've got these little kind of dumpling things which look pretty interesting. And I got given this random sauce as well, so I'm not too sure what it is. So have a look at that, pretty interesting. So I'm just gonna dip it in. No idea what flavor awaits me. Okay, this is like a mayonnaise. It's got like a little bit of meat in it. But the, it's not quite like a dumpling, it's more like a bread filled with meat um, it's very interesting I've, I must say I've never tasted anything like it it's yummy it's a really good little snack I think mine costed two euros too very cheap very simple vegetarian mushroom soup but when they said the mushroom soup I thought it's gonna be a creamy mushroom soup. I didn't expect it to be very like a, a bit watery. That's a little bit of a culture shock because whenever I imagine mushroom soup, creamy. Chicken soup, um, watery. But you know, it works differently in this city. Let me test this one. Mm. Oh, it's good. Perfect for winter, it's so good. Mm. And only two euro too, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Definitely the cheapest place we've ever gone to in Riga. 
gloves because it's getting so cold. More salad, kiwi fruit. The health kick continues because we've been eating so terribly. And by we, probably more me, but we need to start eating better, I think. Heading home, so tired. Um, I think we've finished uh, some videos down for our future kind of things to do and cheap eats videos. Some people say people here are a bit cold. I think they're very, I don't know, maybe we've been lucky, but no one was the roof. Back home! Oh, they did a room service, so they made this bed. It's so great when they make the bed, isn't it? It's so good. It's funny, they might have seen our friend, Polly. I think Wally might have scared them. Yeah, because he looks like a, a big rat. If you're a Latvian, do you know what animal that is? Because I'm curious if you guys know that. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching this video. We had a big day, but you know, I think today we were a bit more productive than yesterday. We planned a bit better. We went out when we said we're gonna go out. So we are very proud of ourselves, we kept our plans. Anyway, thank you so much and please subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel and we will see you next time. Bye!